So, uh, back for another day here, and what uh, we have in store today is we're going to make the front of the car look like a car again, and we are going to put the headlights on. And then I can get the turn signals hooked up and pretty much button up the front end wiring. The back, need to do a little bit more. Uh, I have the tail lights and the brackets, I just have to figure out a way to make it all work. And uh, also try to make a license plate light somehow out of that uh, mess there. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot in store for today, and let's get to it. So this, uh, I bought a new um, license plate bracket, and uh, I'm still going to use the other one on the other side. I just need to beat this one up a little bit, and then I'm going to paint them both to match. This hole here, obviously, does not come with it. This hole does. I took the old light assembly out of it because I'm going to put uh, my new lights in it, and th there's uh, two mounting screws on the back and so basically what it's going to the end result is going to look like is uh let me fish this through here if you look right here both of those poke back perfect back through there so i'm going to drill two more holes for the mounting screws and i think this will be a pretty nice pretty nice setup right there and uh, I was talking earlier about a license plate light. Well, conveniently, there's some in the bottom there. It uses part of the running light. Uh, I didn't know that when I bought these, but I'm glad they are. And uh, But yeah, it fits in there really nice. So that's the plan. Okay, so there we go. That, oh, looks like it needs twisted a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Got uh, one of them mounted. Uh, turned out pretty good. And... Uh, I got a special idea. I don't 
this is this this is the passenger side. The passenger side, I was able to buy just the um, just the bracket for it, so I need to swap this bracket out. All right, sorry the video cut out there for some reason, but anyway, um, this bracket here that comes with this license plate bracket is meant to mount on the left fender in the rear. While well, they sell a separate bracket just by itself to mount on the passenger side rear fender, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, the primary Ohio license plate is going to be on the driver's side. But the right side, I have a special idea for one that I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. And I'm not sure if they sell it, but um, I will uh, go ahead and work on the driver's side one. Okay, so I have all of the wiring hooked up, except for the turn signals. Um, so, uh, as you can see, there's a mess of wires there. So, I, uh, I have some more of this, uh, this um, loom right here. So, just figured I'd give you a little bit before. See, I got this side hooked up, and it looks like an absolute mess. But, it's going to look nice when it's done. These little uh, turn signal lights and then the U bolts are going to pass through and Well, I thought about it before I go wrapping all of this wire up in the loom real nice. I should probably make sure that everything works because um, that would be bad. Trying to make everything all nice and pretty again, so let's just do it once. Should have a right turn signal. Yep. Left turn signal. Left 
four-way flashers. Yep. Uh, high beams. Low beams, which are exactly the same. They're just different filaments, but they're the same wattage. And uh, let's turn them all on. Let's see what we got. Oh, everything works. Oh man, look at that, Nick. If only you were here. Look at that. Nice halogen bulbs. Mm-hmm. You could heat your hands up on them way better than your LED ones. Oh man, much better. Yeah, well, I got that out of my system. Well, here's the final result. We have, uh, you know, I put this inside of this uh, little plastic nut right here, the wire loom in there. Uh, I got the little ground hooked up, turn signal. Uh, I have it back in this clamp right here. Um, I have everything run across the front of the radiator to a point where it's not rubbing the radiator. Um, I have the two wires zip tied together. It should be pretty secure. Uh, I have the alternator wire. I put a piece of plastic loom over top of the fabric or mm, whatever this woven wire loom is. But anyway, I put a piece of plastic up to about right here because it's constantly rubbing on the frame rail down in there. So I just figured a little bit of prevention there. And then uh, I've got the other side all finished up and uh, that's run so now basically uh, I'm gonna just finish everything up in the front I have to run this um, the wire from the points over to the ignition coil and I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna run it in a nice wire loom all the way across over to here and I'll use a obviously a quick connect for this one because if I ever have to change the points which is pretty much guaranteed I'm gonna have to change them someday but um, yeah so I gotta hook that up and then I believe everything under the hood should be good so let's uh, let's get to it alrighty uh, I decided to cover all these up because um, I just, I don't know, kind of wanted to keep everything from rubbing on the, the head here. And, uh, oh, I actually like the look of this stuff, too. I mean, it's got a pretty good color to it and look. But, um, yeah, everything under the hood, uh, hopefully, is done. But besides, I have to top this off after I bleed the brakes, but... Other than that, that's easy. Uh, I put uh, the ground strap on here. I attached it to the... There's a bracket right here. And that's bolted to the frame and to the body. So I figured I would get my frame and body ground all in uh, one... And motor ground as well. Get all three grounds in one strap. And then I put this uh, this clamp right here to hold this from from rubbing on the uh, 
throttle and to keep it from rubbing in here. So, um, I believe everything is done under here that I could think of. I, I checked all the cotter pins, grease points, um, that's about it. So now I'm just going to keep working my way back under the car, uh, just securing wires and making sure nothing's going to get uh, a bunch of rubbing on it and things like that. So yeah, I believe we're uh, we're getting pretty close now. So um, I guess I'll throw the hood on. Hopefully this is for the last time. We'll uh, continue this. Uh, continue this tomorrow. Pretty good day. Um, like I said, tomorrow we'll go ahead and keep securing wires. We'll start pretty much under the underneath the floor there, and work our way back. Make sure no hoses, wires, anything like that are going to be rubbing on anything, and then get into the trunk again. Finish up the wiring on that that fuse block back there and um have to still have to um work on the tail lights and the license plate bracket but that shouldn't be too bad because the fuse box is back there and um don't have to run the wires that far it's not like having to run them all the way up to here and i'm real happy with how everything turned out up here and uh Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything seems to be going pretty good. Famous last words. All right, everybody. We'll see you later.